Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to discuss about Paget disease of the breast. We will look at the definition of Paget disease of the breast, pathophysiology, clinical presentation, evaluation and treatment. The definition of Paget disease of the breast, there is another Paget disease which we call for bones as well. Here, there is persistent scaling eczematous or ulcerated lesion involved in the nipple areola complex. As you can see in this picture, the area around the nipple areola complex is reddish, scaling is there and flaking of the nipple is there. This usually occurs with underlying breast carcinoma. The pathologic hallmark of Paget's disease is Presence of malignant intraepithelial adenocarcinoma cells, we call them paget cells, within the epidermis of the nipple. To understand this condition, let's look at the pathophysiology. There are two theories one is epidermotrophic theory. In epidermotrophic theory, it says that when there is breast carcinoma, the malignant cells traverse through the ducts towards the epidermis and those malignant cells as paget cells in the epidermis. That is one theory. The other theory is transformation theory. It says that the keratinocytes in the epidermis undergo malignant transformation and form paget cells. So those two theories are there anyway. What happens is the malignant cells are there in the epidermis around the nipple areola complex. So the clinical presentation of Paget disease, there's eczema-like eruption on the nipple and areola. It is unilateral but very rarely it can be bilateral as well. Rarely nipple retraction can be there in advanced disease. And also there may be scaly row vesicular or ulcerated lesion that begins on the nipple and then spreads to the areola. As you can see in this picture, there is a scaly ulcerated lesion around the nipple and areola. So this is Paget's disease. Occasionally there can be bloody discharge also and the patient may have pain, burning sensation with or without pruritus. How we can evaluate a patient suspected to have Paget disease? We need to know few facts regarding this. 50% of the patients who are having Paget disease have a palpable breast mass. This mass is usually located more than 2 cm from the nipple areola complex. And the other 50% usually do not have a palpable breast mass. However, 20% of them have mammographic abnormality. So in mammogram, there is a lesion. 30% of them do not have mammographic abnormality. And 25% have occult ductal carcinoma in situ. So, most commonly, Paget's disease occurs with underlying breast carcinoma, either invasive or non invasive breast carcinoma. So, we can do a skin biopsy in these patients, and in the skin biopsy, the histological hallmark is as we discussed previously. Presence of malignant intraepithelial adenocarcinoma cells or paget cells occurring singly or in small groups within the epidermis of the nipple. As shown in this picture, there is an underlying ductal carcinoma in situ, and in the epidermis, you can see paget cells within the surface epithelium of the nipple. And Crusting on the surface of the nipple.
and also in the evaluation we can do a mammogram usually we do bilateral mammogram to find a lesion and if a lesion is there we can do an ultrasound scan to evaluate the palpable mass or a mass found in mammography and there's a place for MRI in patients who are having mammographically occult disease to exclude a lesion we can do MRI so the treatment of patch disease you know that it occurs usually with underlying breast carcinoma so depending on the underlying breast cancer its staging we do further management so that is about Paget's disease of the breast. Now we know the definition, the pathophysiology, how these patients present, evaluation, and some idea about the treatment. Now let's look at few patients. This is a single breast transfer type patient. A 45 year old woman is admitted with progressive erythematous eruption on a right breast for several months, no palpable masses in both breast, right nipple is disrupted. What is the most likely clinical diagnosis? So while reading this history, this clinical picture fits with Paget's disease. This patient is having erythematous eruption of the breast for several months, no palpable masses which can be there in 50% of the patients with Paget's disease, the nipple is disrupted on the right side. So the most likely diagnosis for this patient is Paget's disease of the breast. The other conditions does not fit this description. In this question, a 60 year old lady presented to the clinic with an eczematous lesion of the right nipple areola complex on examination Palpable breast lump 3 into 4 cm in right breast with ipsilateral palpable mobile lymph nodes. What is the response that gives the most accurate diagnosis? So, if we go to the question without looking at the answers, so this 60 year old lady having eczematous lesion on the breast. So, we don't know whether it could be eczema. However, you know that Paget's disease present with eczematous eruption over the nipple areola complex. So, this patient high likely to have Paget's disease. And also, she has a palpable breast lump, which can be there in 50% of patients with Paget's disease. And this breast lump measures 3 into 4 centimeters. So in a previous video we discussed about the staging of breast lump, 3 into 4 cm is clinically T2 lesion and in right breast with ipsilateral palpable mobile lymph nodes. So when there are palpable lymph nodes in the axilla that means nodal metastasis may be there so clinically it is N1, N2 or N3. It depends on the number of palpable lymph nodes. However, uh, let's assume that this patient is having one to three lymph nodes. So, this we can take it as N1. Then, if it is more than that, it is N2 or more. Then, this patient is having Paget's disease with clinically T2, N1, or N2 or N3 base lesion. And we have no idea about the metastatic status of this breast carcinoma. So the correct answer is Paget's disease with T2N1 in mix. The answer is.